when when the section of the beat changes, that tells Drake, okay, I need to jump on another beat for this next section. What's the deal, ladies and gents? It's your boy Kayola back with another video, and today will be our first installment into the artist series. Our first artist that we'll be covering in this series will be Drake. In the artist series, we'll be talking about a certain artist's lyrics, their flows and hooks, and melodies. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be notified whenever a new video comes up because we're all on a mission to become the best artist we can be. Fucking asshole on the motorcycle just fucked up the video, but I'm gonna keep going. Anyway, let's get into Drake. Pause. Pause. Drake has mastered the art of rhythm and space. Now, the first thing we're gonna talk about is rhythm. When I say rhythm, there are millions of beats online, millions of beats on YouTube that you're going to be buying and nine times out of ten, they're going to be a basic four by four, meaning there are going to be four beats in each bar, four beats in each bar, four beats in each bar. When I refer to the one, I'm talking about the first beat. When I refer to the two, I'm talking about the second beat and so forth and so on for three and four. Usually the bass drum, the kick drum, or the 808 is gonna land on the one. And every time, no matter what, the snare, the clap, the rim, the <laughs> is always gonna land on the two and four. So when I'm saying come in on the two, that means come in on the second beat, which is gonna be the snare. If I say come in on the one, you're coming in as soon as the beat drops on the kick drum. When I talk about space, that means being able to leave a breath, or leaving a space in between a bar, in between a line. And this is gonna give your flow tremendous of avenues and ways to go instead of just starting off and you're not giving any breaths, you're not giving any spaces, you're just, you're gonna sound like the bone thug. You're gonna sound like bone thugs of harmony. Which is cool, but think about that with some space. You ever wonder why some artists, especially Drake, why people anticipate their music so much? It's because they have an air of unpredictability to their music. Is unpredictability a word? It should be. It should be. It should be. Meaning, you don't know how he's going to approach the track. You don't know if he's going to come in fast. You don't know if he's going to let the beat build. You don't know if he's going to let the beat breathe. You don't know if he's going to sing, if he's going to be hype, if he's going to be low toned, if he's just going to, you just don't know. Once you grasp this concept of rhythm and space, you will add that air of unpredictability to your music because people won't be able to pin you to just one flow. They don't know how you're going to approach it. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into it. When I'm doing this, I'm going to be counting each beat as in one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you'll know which beat he's coming in at, right? One, two, three, four. 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 It's coming in on the three. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, he's gonna switch it up. He's gonna switch it up. One. Two, she say, do you three, love me? I four, tell her only one, partly. I only love my bed three, and my mom. Four, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so in those different sections, when when the section of the beat changes, that tells Drake, okay, I need to jump on another beat for this next section. So when it first starts off in the first section, I've been moving, can't don't start no trouble with me. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. He's starting off at the one, so it gives a more immediate vibe to it. And when he goes into another section, he'll jump to the three. The one, two, 
bad things. It's a lot of bad things that they wishing and wishing and wishing and wishing and wishing on me. One, two. Bad things, it's a lot of bad things that they wish and he comes in at the three and that's where the rhythm and space comes in because he knows, okay, I just spent a whole verse coming in at the one and as the section switches, I need to switch up the flow. So I'm going to come in at the third one. I'm going to give some space. He gave space and then he came in at the third. The bad things, the whole where he's waiting, that's the space. And that's going to create a new flow for you. And then as he goes into the second verse, he starts at the two. He gets ready, comes in at the two. Boom. She say, do you love me? I tell her only Polly. I only love my bed and my mama. This is a subtle idea of song structure. Being able to change the tone and change the beat you approach it with, with each new section, you're going to subtly be manipulating your listener's ear. They're going to be like, man, he, he he has total grasp of the beat. That's how you're able to grasp the beat when you can master being able to approach it different ways as different sections pass by. I'm going to get into another example, and then I'm going to make up an example on my own so you can kind of see it being made in action. Hey, the, uh, the, the next one we'll try is Gal 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 Gal, Gal Chester, Gal, Gaia, Gaia Chester, Gil Chester, off of um, More Life. He's gonna be coming in at the two. He's gonna let that that one that bass drop, and then he's gonna come in at the snare. Watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Time is late. Three, four. Ice blue mix. Yeah. Chat on my ribs like I do not know what permanent is. Yeah. One. Clap. Switch it up, switch it up, switch it up, switch it up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. 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 Tied on my ribs. I told him what firm in the cut. He switched up the flow and he jumped to the three instead of the two. It's being able to do that song structure. As the sections change, you being able to jump from one to another. So you can start it off by coming in on the one. And then as the section changes, you switch the flow up, you give it some space, and then you're coming in at the two for this next four bars. And it's going to add a subtle change in the song structure. You'll be changing the mood. You'll be changing the vibe to the whole song, guys. So remember that, man. You can either come in at the one when the beat first drops on the kick. You can be coming in at the two on the snare. Or you can be coming in at the three, which is a little bit unorthodox. Or you can be coming in at the four. Now, I'm going to get into my own example. And I'm going to pull a beat up. And I'm going to start off coming in at the one. And I'm going to add some space in it, which is going to give the flow some variation and it's going to make it unique because I'm adding that space in between each bar. And I'm going to start and then after I do the one, then I'm going to come in at the two. I'm going to be letting the beat breathe for one beat. I'm, I'm not going to be coming in on the first 808. I'm going to come in on the snare. And then the next thing, I'm going to come in on a three and then I'm going to come in on a four. And you're going to see how you can approach any beat four different guaranteed ways. I don't want to hear this shit about some um uh, about writer's block, bro. It's no such thing as writer's block. You just have to find a different approach, man. And I'm gonna be starting off at the one. Fuck these haters, they can suck my dick I don't give a fuck about no hoe about a trick I can't do this bitch, I got them bricks Chopping in my hand, yeah, I'm running with the stick Coming at the very first beat Bad ass bitch, and she gonna suck my meat You know that I need me a freak Smoking on the gas and it got a nigga geek Okay Three, four One, two, three, four Gonna come in at the two next one, two, three, four. One, 
Fuck these niggas, they gon' suck my dick Coming through, I got a big ass clip Fuck it, I got money, I got much of pop Bad bitches, I'ma fuck them, then they smile Walk into the Louis, I get all my style All you niggas trippin', all y'all money smile yeah. Big money, big money, big things Big chain, big ass ring Two, three, four One, two, three, four I'm gonna come in at the three next One, two, three, four One, two I been on this money train Bad bitches, they gon' sell my thing Bad bitches on my thing, I lane Man, I'm already, yeah, that bitch gon' swing I been on the third beat Fuck that bitch the third time this week Smoking on the dope, it got me super geek I know how to get this dog. Okay Coming at the fold next Hey, Coming at the fort next Coming on the fort next One, two, three, four One, two, three Fuck this shit Big money, big ass clip Guns on the side, don't trip Fuck a nigga, I be getting money Bad bitches looking funny I'm a ball, rather rain or sunny Coming on a 4B Fuck your bitch the fifth time this week Okay, you see how I mastered that Okay, okay, you see how I did that I could come in on any fucking beat I'ma come in at the two real quick, real quick One, two money, big money Group money, big money Yeah uh, okay, you see? Okay, so you see what I mean? How coming in on different beats, it gives you a number of different flows and using that space. You're gonna be able to have a fresh flow, any beat won't have the same flow because beats are different. So you're approaching each beat the way the beat is. That's how you ride the beat, my G. That's that's the, that's how you ride the fucking beat. That's how you get that cold ass flow, my G. Once you can grasp those beats, that one, that two, that three, and that four. And now the three and the four, in very rare occasions, are you going to use them? Really rare occasions are you going to use the four? The three, yeah, more so, but usually the one and two. So if you can approach one section of a song from the two, and then the next one you're coming in at the one. Or you're coming in at the three to start it, and then you're coming in at the one. You're manipulating the song structure. You're manipulating your listeners' ears for the better. Because a lot of rappers, they don't have the grasp of this concept, so they're just shooting in the fucking dark. They don't really, you know, they might be doing this, but they don't know they're doing it. Wouldn't you rather be doing it knowingly, knowing that you can, you can pull this out of your toolbox and be able to use it with any beat? It's going to give you tons of inspiration where you can approach any beat any way, man. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell, man. Mastering the rhythm in the space, being able to approach a beat four different ways. And just listen to your favorite rappers and you'll hear them. The greats, they're not coming in the same on every fucking beat. They're picking different ways to approach a beat and another thing that goes with that is being able to 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 okay if i'm coming in at the one on this one and i'm hype and then on the second section i'm coming in at the two but i'm a little bit low and subdued that's that's another 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 good example of that is if you ever listen to Lil uzi super saiyan trunks it, he does it perfectly. He uh he's don't try me, yeah. Clip on the uh, see, yeah. Uh, you see how he went from a hype vibe to a more chill, fucking cool, swagged out vibe? Work on that, practice on that, and I guarantee you your music is gonna improve, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to stay tuned because number two is coming out i say tomorrow where we're gonna get into how drake makes such memorable melodies and hooks and you're gonna know how to add that to your stuff like subscribe share with your people put in the comments of what you want to hear about next and i'll holler at you guys later peace